Peppa Pig the Fire Engine. <coughs> Mummy Pig is going to the Mummy's Fire Engine practice. Oh. It's just a good excuse for a cup of tea and a chat, says Daddy Pig. I'm meeting with the Daddy's football team and having a barbecue. <laughs> That's just a lot of grown-up boys kicking a football around, says Mummy Pig. Mummy, can we see the fire engine? asks Peppa. <laughs> fire engine, says George. <laughs> yes, Peppa, I'll take you and George, says Mummy Pig. <laughs> Mummy Pig drives Peppa and George to Miss Rabbit's fire station. <laughs> Hello, Peppa and George, says Miss Rabbit. Come and see the fire engine. Oh. There's a ladder for climbing, says Miss Rabbit, a hose for squirting water, and a big bell to ring. <coughs> Miss Rabbit takes them into the control room to look for fires. Wow. Peppa spots a red phone and picks it up. <laughs> Peppa, that's the fire phone, says Miss Rabbit. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Peppa puts the phone down. Suddenly the red phone rings. Miss Rabbit panics. Fire station, where's the fire? Says Miss Rabbit. Can I talk to Mummy Pig, please? Asks Daddy Pig. It's an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Miss Rabbit puts the phone down. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? asks Mummy Pig. Uh, none, replies Miss Rabbit. Not one fire, but you've got to be ready. The red phone rings again. Hello, Daddy Pig, says Miss Rabbit. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! shouts Daddy Pig. Oh, no! Oh dear, Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. <coughs> Mummy's to the rescue, says Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Miss Rabbit slides down the pole to the fire engine. All the mummies slide down the pole. Peppa and George hold tight and slide down the pole too. <coughs> they all get into the fire engine. Miss Rabbit puts on the siren and drives them to Peppa's house. The fire engine arrives at Peppa's house. Stand back, daddies, shouts Miss Rabbit. Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep hose down the barbecue. The fire is out. Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit, says Daddy Pig. No problem, it's all part of the service, says Miss Rabbit. The Mummy's Fire Engine Service, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, <coughs> says Daddy Pig, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> I love fire engines, says Peppa, especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> The end. First words with Peppa Pig. Level 3. The Scarecrow. Meet Peppa, George, Granny Pig, and Grandpa Pig. Learn. Every, fly, has, him, his, live, off, put, some, them, when. Read, shed, face, scarecrow. Wow. Grandpa Pig is in his garden with Peppa and George. <laughs> we can plant some seeds in this soil says Grandpa Pig. Peppa and George put every seed in the soil. Every seed will turn into a plant, says Grandpa Pig. Wow. Some birds live in Grandpa Pig's garden. 
What a lot of birds, says Peppa. When you plant some seeds, the birds will fly down and eat some of them. Some of them, said Grandpa Pig. The birds eat my seeds every time I put them in the soil. Fly away! The birds did not fly away. We need a plan to stop them. Grandpa Pig went to his shed. Peppa and George went with him. <laughs> Grandpa Pig has a plan, said Granny Pig. I will stop them. When the birds see my plan, they will not want to live in my garden. Every bird will fly away when they see it, said Grandpa Pig. Peppa had two sticks and George had some cloth. <laughs> they ran out of Grandpa Pig's shed and went back to his garden. Grandpa Pig put the sticks into a cross. He put the cloth on top. Wow. Will this make the birds fly away? <laughs> said Peppa. <laughs> yes, every bird will fly away when they see him, <laughs> said Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Grandpa Pig has a scarecrow, said Peppa. <coughs> Peppa and George put a face on him. He has a pretty face, <coughs> said Peppa. Wow. The birds will fly away when they see him, said Grandpa Pig. <coughs> the birds did not fly away. <coughs> I think they like him, said Grandpa Pig. Granny has a plan too, said Peppa. The birds can eat some of the seeds I have put in the tree, said Granny Pig. <coughs> Granny Pig's plan has worked. Hooray! The birds ate the seeds Granny Pig had put in the tree. Hooray! They did not eat Grandpa Pig's seeds. <coughs> now all of the birds in the scarecrow can live in the garden, said Peppa. <laughs> the end. <laughs> First words with Peppa Pig. <laughs> Level 5. The Thunderstorm. <laughs> Meet Peppa, George, <laughs> Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig. <laughs> Learn about fall, far, fool, got, laugh, light, never, only. <laughs> Read. Thunderstorm, sky, rain, water, teddy, shoes, tickle, laugh. <laughs> Peppa and George were having tea in the garden. The sky was light blue and the sun was hot. Peppa, George, come in now. The sky is full of clouds. There is about to be a thunderstorm, <coughs> said Mummy Pig. Oh. Peppa and George ran into the house. <coughs> My arms were full, so I forgot about Teddy, <coughs> said Peppa. <sighs> I will get Teddy. The sky is full of clouds, but it is not far to go, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Do not get wet. The rain will fall soon, said Mummy Pig. I never get wet, said Daddy Pig. The sky was not light blue for long. Soon it was dark and the rain began to fall. Daddy Pig got wet, but he got Teddy too. It is far too wet to be out there. My shoes are full of water, said Daddy Pig. <laughs>
Here is Teddy. He got a bit wet, said Daddy Pig. Oh, oh Teddy, it was far too wet in the rain, said Peppa. It's only a bit of water, said Mummy Pig. They got a cloth and soon Teddy was not wet. What about me, said Daddy Pig. I am far too wet. My shoes are full of water. You said you never get wet, said Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig began to laugh. <laughs> what are you laughing about, asked Mummy Pig. Stop, it tickles, he said. <laughs> you can laugh, but we will not stop, said Peppa. <laughs> Just then, there was a flash of light in the sky. What was that light? asked Peppa. It was only the thunderstorm, said Mummy Pig. It was only the thunderstorm, said Mummy Pig. Soon it will go far away and there will be only light blue sky left. The sky may be full of clouds and the rain may be falling out there, but we will never get wet in here, said Daddy Pig. A drop of water began to fall from the roof. Mummy Pig began to laugh. You said it will never get wet in here, Daddy. Daddy Pig laughed. I was wrong. <laughs> Daddy Pig got a bucket for the drop of water. Hooray! When will the sky be light blue again? Asked Peppa. Soon. Thunderstorms never last long, said Mummy Pig. Soon the thunderstorm was far away. The sun was back and the sky was light blue again. Best of all, the thunderstorm had left the garden full of mud. <laughs> Peppa laughed and jumped about in a big spot of mud. This is the only bit about thunderstorms I like, said Peppa. Peppa, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig all began to laugh. What fun! The end. Peppa Pig, the Naughty Tortoise. It is autumn and Tiddles the Tortoise is going to sleep for the winter, but Tiddles isn't sleepy. So he has run away and climbed a tree how are we going to rescue him? asked Peppa. I'll ring the fire brigade, replies Dr. Hamster. Stand clear, shouts Mummy Elephant when the fire engine arrives. She puts the ladder against the tree and Mummy Cow starts to climb up towards Tiddles. Nina, Nina. Mummy Cow reaches the top of the ladder, but Tiddles climbs higher. Come here, you little pickle, calls Mummy Cow. Be careful, Mummy Cow, shouts Mummy Elephant, but Mummy Cow climbs onto a branch and gets stuck. Cows are not very good at climbing trees. Hang on, cries Mummy Elephant. I'm coming up. Mummy Elephant climbs onto a different branch and she gets stuck too. Elephants are not very good at climbing trees either. What are we going to do now? asked Peppa. I'll call another rescue service, says Dr. Hamster. Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. Hmm, says Grandad Dog when he arrives. How do you get tortoises? out of trees. Shall I climb up? Yes, please, replies Dr. Hamster. Grandad Dog climbs up to the first branch in the tree. Oh, says Grandad Dog, I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees either. 
Now what are we going to do? Asked Peppa. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land, replies Dr. Hamster. Miss Rabbit arrives in her rescue helicopter. Hello everyone, she calls down. Now let's rescue this tortoise. Miss Rabbit puts her helicopter on autopilot and climbs down the ladder to the tree. Got you, you little rascal, says Miss Rabbit, reaching out and grabbing Tiddles from the top of the tree. Then she carries him safely down to the ground. Thank you for saving my Tiddles, Miss Rabbit, says Dr. Hamster. No problem, replies Miss Rabbit. Then she climbs back up the ladder to rescue Mammy Elephant, Mammy Cow and Grandad Dog. Thank you for saving us too, they cry. Just doing my job, replies Miss Rabbit. What a naughty tortoise you are, says Dr. Hamster. Tiddles yawns. <sighs> oh good, now you're sleepy, says Dr. Hamster. Back in your box you go. Sleep well, Tiddles, cries Peppa. Tiddles has gone to sleep for the winter and will wake again in the springtime. Shh, whispers Peppa. Everyone giggles very quietly. The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more.